the everyday activities in the bakery took its toll on my back. Uh, had a number of surgeries and then wound up where back here with Dr. Scooby. Well, the scenario would be I'd go into the pharmacy, present them with the prescription, and then come back to me saying that the insurance company says it needs to be pre-certified. So we're talking to the insurance company and hearing you do and you don't, and it goes on for four or five days. Um, meanwhile, he is out of medicine, withdrawing and having to buy medicine on his own. One could uh, imagine some reason for that if we were increasing the medication, but in Joe's case, over the last two years, we were gradually decreasing the medication, and in spite of, of the fact that we were doing the right thing, so to speak, um, getting them off of opioids, um, research would still be coming. 18 hours maybe without it, you start to go through withdrawals. Uh, it's cold sweats, it's shaking, it's, it's, it's just you don't have control. We see this pre cert issue not only with medication, but we see it with MRI scans or CAT scans and everything else. And so um, I, I just, I find it incredible that, that the insurance company could think that as a, um, a person who's practiced neurology for 35, 40 years, doesn't know more than somebody on the other end who's never seen the patient. I can understand cutting costs, but put them in the situation, put them in this chair, let them be on a medication like that for a certain period of time and not give them, not be able to refill it and go through what I had to go through.